Hey everyone, Adam here. So in one of my recent videos, I was showing how to use the outboard gear with the Apollo Twin audio interface and Logic Pro. And in the comment section, EJBeats3609 is asking, how do you use it for your DAW for mastering or limiting? What I believe he is asking is, how do you actually print the effect because uh, in your DAW, because if, if we bounce the project, the effect won't be present. So let's dive into it. Just a quick recap here. I have a drum track and two clean guitars with a hard pan to left and right. And if I play it, these are or we can hear the guitars with the effect from my outboard gear, which is a Dimension D chorus. So if I, if I mute the chorus, it's just the clean guitars. And so basically for the clean guitar tracks, I have a clean bus. So the output of the tracks is going into that bus. And in that bus, I have a send into another bus and that bus is set up with uh, IO plugin where I'm telling Logic to send the signal out of my audio interface into the outboard gear. In this case, it's the Dimension D chorus. And then out of the outboard gear, it goes into the inputs of my audio interface. <laughs> That's the effect uh, in the solo mode. But as I mentioned, if, if I bounce the project into audio files such as MP3, uh, the effect won't be pr present. We, we won't hear it. it. We will hear only the drum track and the clean guitars without any effect. So in order to actually have it and hear it in, in the final track, we, we need to print it. So it's called printing, or you can call it uh, reamping as well. So in order to do that, let's create a new track. Let's rename it to clean dimension D. And we need to change the inputs also, we need to change the channel mode because the effect is in stereo. And so let's change it to stereo. And yeah, we need to switch the inputs. But before we do that, we need a new bus. So the, the output of the dimension D of the outboard gear, right now it's going to the stereo output. So let's send it to new bus, let's say bus five. And now we can uh, change it here to bus five. So that's where the dimension is, is going. And now if I hit the record button, and let it play. Okay, now I can uh, disable the input for that track. Let's play it. And if I solo the track, you can hear only the chorus effect. And that's it. So I have uh, disabled the bus because I no longer because I no longer need it, and I can use the fader of my printed Dimension D track to to mix it to change the levels as I need. So I can increase the levels, or I can make it really subtle. And that's it. That's how you print your 
outboard gear into the track in the Logic Pro. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.